Ilford HP5 Plus is actually one of my first black and white film stock that I've ever used. I don't know if I'm doing the right way. <laughs> First of all, I'm new to film photography, so that means that I'm into the learning process. And at the same time, um, I've been reading and watching a lot of videos about how to develop uh, films at home. So I thought that I should give it a try. And I did. So let me tell you how I developed before I show you the photos that I've developed with it. I developed HP 5 Plus with Kodak D76 stock solution. Um, basically the same um, way that everybody else does. Everything is available in YouTube and internet. So thanks to those videos, I managed to develop my first ever black and white film stock in my life. So the Kodak D76 stock solution is not really bad. It's, to be honest with you, the gold standard of um, black and white film photography anyway. Uh, so that was my safest way to develop film at home. So there was no problem in that particular department. Um, and literally super fast and super easy to use. I managed to develop it in less than uh, nine minutes but took me forever to prepare for it because I was kind of stressed. Anyway, the result was just phenomenal. Um, what I'm going to do in this particular video, um, I'm going to take you through each images, uh, 17 of them, if I remember correctly, and I'm going to explain you exactly why I took the photo and what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and luckily, each time of taking the photos, each photos, I took a little video clip with my GoPro. So idea was to show you how it looked like in real life and what was my vision behind it and did I manage to uh, capture the image as I wanted or I failed it for whatever reason it is because some of the photos I thought that it's gonna be okay but turned out to be phenomenal and some of them actually I had something in my mind and turned out they are not exactly what I wanted them to be. Now let me show you about this photo for example. Now this one was pretty much in the middle of the day if you look at the sun um, shadow on my eyes it's pretty harsh day and definitely love the grain if I zoom in a little bit they look pretty good um, the tire actually under that little boat I want it to be a bit more visible at least in the middle but I could not kind of uh, I, I didn't manage it or maybe I could I could have done a little bit of doesn't burn but here um, I, it's kind of blended in with the shadow so you cannot really see it if you don't really pay attention. Obviously if you print uh, things would have been nicer. Now sky to be honest there is a part that I kind of failed in pretty much each photo. What I wanted the blue sky to be a bit more darker so probably I could have uh, used a red filter but um, didn't use it because I was hoping that uh, still uh, the sky would have been a bit more darker but hey you have to give it a go. Um, I did manage um, a polarizer filter to make the sky a bit more bluer obviously but to be honest uh, it still didn't really help. Uh, overall I like the photo anyway beautiful grain 
The next image is pretty much in the same location, not far from the previous photo. Um, it was pretty windy. And, um, you know, I like the big boat. It kind of shows the character because I was in an area where full of boats, you can see in the background. Also, the tree over here, sincerely, the, it was probably the windiest time of the day and I was expecting the leaves to be a bit more blurry but turned out uh, to be pretty much in shape but on the top of the edge you can see that it's a little bit more blurry on the on the right top corner now moving on to the next photo again still in the same location um, objective of this photo was pretty much capturing the, the the whole image including the foreground of the water in the middle of the houses with the boat and the cars and the beautiful mountainous background i think uh, from the top of the sky till behind the houses it's lacking contrast otherwise it would be nice because the mountain in real life was pretty awesome if you're looking, if you're listening to some uh, sound, uh, today is Sunday, so basically on Sunday here it's um, the motorbike day. So there's a group of motorbikes. As you can hear it now. So anyway, where was it? Uh, yeah, today is a Sunday, it's a bike day, so people are getting out of the bikes, so apologies for the sound. Um, the, about the background, so yeah, it's missing a little bit of contrast. If you look at the trees, you can clearly understand why I said it's pretty windy. The next image, now this is an interesting one. So objective was, because I have um, a bunch of um, macro filter, I don't have it with me. Um, the macro filter objective was, I was, trying to, trying, uh, I was trying to use a macro filter without uh, a dedicated a macro lens. Um, because that's kind of like a cheap way to getting into the macro film photography and i had a stock of film uh, pretty much halfway there um, where when i took this photo and i thought that hey why not let's just take a photo using macro filter in black and white film <laughs> so that's kind of like experiment um this one i used the macro filter uh, eight so i had four six eight and ten if i remember specifically and this is the last one this is the 10. result is not really bad but it's not really good either i can see that it's um it's, it's not that it's not that sharp honestly um but it's quite artistic although the focusing was not that easy i'm telling you uh, then moving on to the next one, I uh, know, so previous one was 8, this is 10 and both of them I managed to take the photo in focus but it's soft, I'm not really a big fan of it personally speaking, could have been better, uh, I think it would have been better with a dedicated macro lens instead of a filter uh, and anyway this photo again, uh, sky is a lot darker than the previous ones but it's still not dark for my liking uh, again a red filter would have been very helpful um, and also the objective was to you know show you these mountainous uh, craters in the background uh, with a big contrast so contrast is missing i think that if i had I, if i had more contrast this photo would have been phenomenal uh, same location, so I tried to capture the photos in different angle to, to to take the the craters in the background, but then again I failed it. It's almost there, but you have to pay really good attention, which is uh, not really the objective. Should have been a lot easier. Um, that one is pretty much another location. Again, the objective was to have dark sky with the white cloud and the crater background. For some reason, the photo turned out to be really soft. So I actually, to be honest, probably the least interesting photo in this um, the bunch of images. 
Now this one on the other hand, probably the one of my favorite photo in this um, in this in this series of seventeen images. The reason why, because it was a rainy day, I basically took the photo um, in my house uh, behind my apartment, opening the window, and I saw these leaves with the raindrops. And I wanted to capture the details, exactly what you're looking at the image. Um, the image was taken with my 7200 um, f4 lens and was in very slow shutter speed. Slow, slow shutter speed. So, as you can clearly see, that is actually tack sharp, meaning that even though it was in a slow shutter speed, less than uh, one tenth of a second, but photo is still in sharp, um, not moving at all, uh, it's not blurred is beautiful as well um, to be honest i can easily print it and put it on the wall uh, i think uh, it looks pretty artistic to me now this image and the following one the difference between this and the following one is that this one is in 17 mm and this one is in 40 mm so that's the only difference in terms of the focal length and again, the objective was to take these beautiful rocks with the water and you know, the dark blue sky with these craters. I almost managed it. The photo looks phenomenal. I think I could have underexposed by about half stop to, to, to not blow out the highlights and the background would have been nicer. But then again, I love both of it. Beautiful photos. This one was a, a, a typical rainy day images. Um, I have everything that I really needed. I have the raindrops on the wares and the in the background I can clearly see the rain falling so it, because it was in a slow shutter speed which is phenomenal and again another rainy day images on the banana leaf even the raindrops were touching the leaves so there's like a motion blur I was suspecting it to be more motion blur but lucky enough it's not that strong which is beautiful um, especially I like these two little water drops at the bottom which is uh, you know another of my favorite image and this image is pretty much the same location as my previous ones where I showed you um, one of my photo on the boat um, sunny sunny day images beautiful image again I managed I did not manage to take the uh, bring out more details from the sky which is, you know, next time I'm gonna do better, I promise. So here my take on this Hillford HP5 Plus 400. Overall, beautiful film stock. My first ever black and white film that I've ever used and home developed. Uh, I'm gonna make a video on the home developing, but as, to be honest with you, I don't really think that it's necessary because I did exactly what everybody else did. I followed exact rules step by step, whatever available in the internet, and it worked just perfectly. What I could have done, um, take out from the whole images, I have to be more patient, and I think I should um, use more red filter, especially on a sunny day, if I want to bring more details from the sky. And that would be been a good idea. So that's what exactly I'm going to do in my future uh, image taking. Typical grain um, and also when it comes to the film stock or oh, it's a typical black and white nothing too contrasty nothing too flat it's just about right um, so yeah I mean I'm probably gonna continue to use it uh, more and more in my future uh, image taking in black and white let me know what you think comment in the comment section below 
and support me if you can tip in some um, uh, some tips on uh, by PayPal on Patreon or um, that would be awesome if not to be honest happy to contribute anyway with my contents look after yourself take care and bye bye